Vivek Ramaswamy, he is no longer running for president. And as a result, he's done what everybody with nothing else to do does. Uh, he launched a podcast. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Just Truth, maybe. Uh, see, Truth? I don't know. Um, so he brought on Ann Coulter. And Ann Coulter drops the most wild shit during this interview about him. And it's Ann Coulter, so you can probably already guess what she said, something racist. But she says something racist specifically about him. And what's more shocking to me than what she said is his response to what she said. So without further ado, we're going to watch this. And um, yeah, just wait until uh, what she says at the end. It's, it's mind-blowing. Not, su not surprising because it's Ann Coulter. But. Somebody who... I think has some thoughtful perspectives on the future direction of our country, of our conservative movement, and on this question of nationalism and national identity. Somebody who I've been fascinated for, by for a long time and have interacted with on social media, but for the first time we're having a at least live form conversation in the offline sense of it. It's Ann Coulter. So Ann, thanks for coming on and I'm looking forward to our conversation today. Me too, thanks for having me. That was a fantastic opening monologue. Uh, I, too, am a fan of yours. I'm going to make a point of disagreeing with you so that it will be fun. Um, yeah. You are so bright and articulate, and I guess I can call you articulate since you're not an American black. Um, can't, can't say that about them. That's, that's derogatory. Um, and that was a great opening segment. Lots of things to talk about there. Oh, and I agreed with many, many things you said during, in fact, probably more than, than most other candidates um, when you were running for president. But... I still would not have voted for you um, because you're an Indian. We'll get back to that. Um, she just said, I would not have voted for you because you're an Indian, even though I agree with you. I got to play that last part again because she just she drops it so casually. And then she also says racist things about black people saying, oh, well, you can't call them articulate. Well, how are you saying it? And are you saying, oh, wow, you're really articulate. That's surprising because typically black people aren't articulate. If you're saying it like that, then, yeah, that's pretty racist and offensive. But she just drops it casually. Of things to talk about there. Oh, and I agreed with many, many things you said during, in fact, probably more than than most other candidates um, when you were running for president. But I still would not have voted for you um, because you're an Indian. We'll get back to that. Um, okay, she just says it so casually, and he just nods along. Like, he does not... Because not, you're an Indian. We'll get back to that. Like, yes, I understand. You agreed with him the most, but you couldn't vote for him because he's Indian. Um, I feel like there's a name for that. What What, what do you call that? Is that rhymes with schmacism, something like that? I, I don't know. Um, so his response is fucking insane to me. So he responded to this when somebody brought how brought up how wild this was. And look at his insane response, okay? Ann Coulter told me flat out to my face that she couldn't vote for me because you're an Indian, even though she agreed with me more than most other candidates. I disagree with her, but respect she had the guts to speak her mind. It was a riveting hour. The Truth Podcast is back. Vivek. Really? I disagree with her, but I respect that she had the guts to tell me to my face that she wouldn't support me because she's racist. I mean, this is embarrassing. Genuinely embarrassing. This is Dave Rubin level self-loathing that we're seeing here. And I did a video about this, but there were Republicans who straight up said that, you know, they were apprehensive about voting for him. And they've talked to, you know, their peers who are also conservative that were really apprehensive about voting for him specifically because he's Indian. Uh, what are what do people say gives them like, oh, I can't vote for him because what are the things that they tell me? What, what answers can I help you provide? Uh, wow, we have two well, the only one I've had, and I don't even, couldn't even remember who said that to me, but they mentioned it, 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 it,
So in, in our faith tradition, Jesus Christ is a son of God. I know that is different than saying he's the son of God. But that is my view of Jesus Christ. He's got our family. Do we worship in churches? Yes, we do. Is that compatible with our faith? Yes, it is. It's one true God in many forms. So that's different. And I understand that. That is different. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. So this was a problem. And as all of this happens, Vivek Ramaswamy is out here pretending as if racism is no longer a thing. Isn't that the most ridiculous part, right? This is the guy who's like, listen, as somebody who's not white, I can tell you racism is not real. If anything, there's racism against white people. Where well, here you have Ann Coulter saying, even though I agree with you the most, I'm not going to vote for you because you're Indian. And he's like, well, at least, you know, she she was honest. I respect that. Embarrassing. Have some dignity. Have some fucking dignity. At that point in time, disconnect the interview. Say, Anne, since you don't view me as your equal, I have nothing to say to you. Bye. The interview is canceled. I mean, that's how you handle racists. You don't pat them on the back and say, wow, congratulations for being so brave and uh, being racist. Who does that? That's so absurd to me. But that's Vivek Ramaswamy. Uh, very embarrassing and I hope that his wife is at least like teaching their kids that this is not okay. Like you, you should have self-respect, right? Have dignity, have the confidence to tell racists to go fuck themselves. Like that just, mm. yeah, leopards eating faces party as Ariana puts it. Yeah, absolutely absurd. Tremendous, 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 tremendous,